Have you ever pondered the return of Jesus Christ? When will it happen? This question, while intriguing, is one we can't answer definitively. The Lord Jesus himself declared in Matthew 24, 36, But of that day and hour knoweth no man, no, not the angels of heaven, but my Father only. Still, this doesn't mean we're left entirely in the dark. Consider the parable of the fig tree, as told in Matthew 24, 32, 33. Jesus taught us, Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender, and putteth forth leaves, ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. The it, he refers to, is his return. While we can't predict the exact hour of his return, there are signs we can look for, much like the budding trees that herald the arrival of summer. We may not know the hour, but we can certainly discern the season. So what signs should we be looking for, you may ask? Let's take a closer look at the prophecy in Matthew 24, 5. It tells us about deceivers who will claim to be the Christ leading many astray, but then a figure of great intrigue and deception will emerge, the Antichrist. The power of this individual is not to be underestimated. As described in 2 Thessalonians 2, 9, the Antichrist will perform signs, wonders and false miracles under the influence of Satan. Imagine the confusion and chaos that will ensue. The book of Revelation, specifically chapters 13, 3 and 12, adds another layer to this narrative. It tells us that the Antichrist will rise from a deadly wound to his head, a spectacle that will leave the world in awe. This sheer admiration and fascination will make his deception even more potent. In these times, it's crucial to remember, deception will be prevalent in the days before the return of Christ. And what about global unrest? Well, in Matthew 24, 6, Jesus spoke of hearing wars and rumors of wars. This isn't unique to our era, yet the context has changed. We're in a post-Cold War world where the specter of total nuclear destruction looms. The Cold War gave birth to this ultimate rumor of war, the splitting of the atom, a power so devastating it could obliterate us all. Today, we live with the stark reality that mankind possesses the capability to annihilate itself multiple times. Indeed, mankind now has the power to destroy itself several times over. So is this just a scare tactic, you may ask? Not at all. The intention isn't to instill fear, but to inform and prepare. Just as we prepare for the change of seasons, we must prepare for these prophetic times. The signs and prophecies are guideposts pointing the way to readiness. They're like a call to action, an invitation to live with purpose and hope. The same scriptures that tell us that God sent his son to pay for our sins tell us that he is coming again. Are you ready for his return?